everyone, my name is Alexis and welcome back to my florist YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make a peony arrangement. So it's peony season, which is also the best season. So I'm very excited because the grocery stores have peonies, the wholesalers have peonies. There's peonies everywhere. They're not cheap, definitely not cheap. But I was lucky to have been able to find peonies at Trader Joe's for only $10 a bunch. Guys, peonies at my wholesaler are literally like anywhere from $30 to $50. I actually have a reel that went viral last year. It's pretty much just me showing you guys how to open up really tight peony flowers. So when I first got these flowers this morning at 12.30 p.m., they were all super duper tight like this one right here. Like they were all little buds and bulbs. But in order to get them to be big and beautiful like this, you just have to hit their heads on the table and put them in nice warm water. And I find that that, that just really helps. I put them by the sunlight and then a couple hours later, it's about five o'clock now. And I've got nice, beautiful open peonies. I wanted them to open for this video because I want you to see like what they look like in full bloom. But at home, I do recommend to just kind of let them open up slowly, naturally on their own because peonies are kind of like avocados. Like once you open them, they go bad within a couple of minutes. So not like a couple of minutes, but like within a day or two, like you'll notice your peonies will start to die and wilt. So. That's the only thing about these flowers, like they're super delicate, they're not very long lasting, but they are beautiful and they smell and look fabulous. So without further ado, let's get into it and let's make a really simple peony based arrangement. So the peony will be the focal flower of my arrangement today. I'm just doing a really simple arrangement with just peonies as the focal point. And I do have some of this really nice wax flower that we're going to use to accent the peony. I've also got some of this baby blue eucalyptus and Israeli ruscus that we're going to use to green up our arrangement. So I was lucky I was able to actually get both of these bunches of flowers for $4 each. So the ruscus was $4, the baby blue was $4, the wax flower. I actually did get this from my flower wholesaler. This was like $12 a bunch, but they did have this at Trader Joe's and I believe it was like five bucks. So it usually comes with about like, like, like this much if you get it from Trader Joe's, which is fine. But I particularly really wanted this color pink because I knew I was making this video this weekend, but yes. And then this bunch of peonies was 10 bucks. It comes with five stems. So five stems for 10 bucks is absolutely insane considering the fact that I get my peonies for almost $30 a bunch for my wholesaler. Wild. Peonies are also only in season from like May to early July. And then after that, they're done. So get them while you can, get them now because they won't be around forever. To start, I'm going to be using this six by six cylinder vase. But I'm going to start by taking my tape and doing like a tape grid on my face because I want there to be stability for my flowers to sit in. And that's just going to keep everything from moving around. If I don't do this step, everything is just going to fall out of my vase. It's going to be super hard. You're going to be frustrated at home trying to recreate this. So that's why we do what we do. I'm going to start by taking my tape and I'm just going to be creating my grid. So we're going to put one piece across another piece going across and then I like to put one piece that goes all the way around just to help hold all my tape pieces in place and I'll just scrunch up the tape and then this is just gonna help with everything catching so sometimes the tape catches on the flowers because it's still sticky but if you scrunch it it doesn't catch so this is what we have so far so it's officially time for the fun part now we're going to add the flowers start by just taking some of this greens and this is the israeli ruscus and we're going to green up the perimeter of the vase first and then we're going to add in greens towards the center but I really want to make sure that I'm hiding all of my tape first. So that's why we're doing the perimeter. So we're going to go around and add the greens. 
And what's really important is that you don't want there to be any leaves in the water. So I'm just gonna pull off those bottom leaves here. Just leaving the nice top stuff. Now, a good rule of thumb, you want your greens to be about one and a half to two times the height of the base. So we wanna keep this arrangement to be a little bit more tighter, a little bit more rounder. We're gonna take our clippers and I want all my greens to come up to about the height of my hand. So I'm gonna take my clippers and I'm gonna cut off the excess. So I know that I need to cut off about that much stem if I want my greenery to come up to be about the height of my hand. So I'm gonna snip. And then when you insert any flowers into the vase, you always want to insert on an X angle rather than straight up and down because you want everything to flow out of your arrangement like wide rather than it being stiff like a brick like this. Like you want it to be nice and flow out rather than straight up and down. So we're going to insert on a horizontal angle like so. So I'm going to insert one, rotate your vase a little bit, pull off the access leaves, measure, okay, I know I need to cut off about that much, rotate, now feel free to go as fast or as slow as you need, you can always pause, rewind the videos, but definitely just make sure you're getting the perimeter of your arrangement first. So once you've got a good perimeter of greens going, now you can start adding in greens towards the center of your arrangement. I really just like to make sure that my perimeter is all set and good before I start doing anything else. I'm going to just be placing greens directly in the center and this time it's okay to add things more on a vertical angle because we are going towards the center here. I'm just going to be pulling off those access leaves just like how we were doing before. I'm going to insert this straight down into the center. All right. Now I do have some of this baby blue eucalyptus that I'm going to use as well. Mm, it smells so good. You can actually put this in your shower and kind of like have it hang like this. And this will add like a really nice shower smell to your bath. So. Definitely recommend to do that. So I'm gonna be doing the same thing like how I did with the Ruscus. I'm just gonna be taking off all of the bottom leaves. Anything that touches the water is going to cause mold and bacteria prematurely to your arrangement. So you always wanna be making sure that you are pulling off any leaves. The only thing that should be in your water is stems. Stems in the water, nothing else. So I'm going to just be adding these equally throughout my arrangement, equally spacing and placing these. So I'm going to just start by doing the perimeter first, inserting on that X angle as we come a little bit farther down. Now I do want these to be just a little bit taller because this is going to help give our arrangement some like height and character. And you always want to add your greens in first, guys. I saw some videos where people were adding the greens in last. That's not what you want to do, guys. No, no, no. You want to add your greens in first. Greens give stability. They give stability. They give really good balance to your arrangement. So that is why I do what I do. So greens first. So I've equally spaced and placed my baby blue eucalyptus throughout. And this is what we've got so far. Now I do still have some of these empty spaces and I do have a little bit more greenery that I can add in towards the end, but let's add the flowers in next, the fun part. I'm gonna set aside the nicest one, which is probably this one because it's the most blue. I'm gonna set aside him and he's gonna be my top center guy. But for right now, we want all of these flowers to be throughout our arrangement equally spaced and placed. So let's start with one at a time for all our beginners out there. So we're gonna take a peony we want our peonies to sit within the greens, so we want them to be with the same height and level. So we're gonna take our flower stem to the edge of the table here. We're gonna measure, be like, all right, if I want my flower to sit here, I know I'm gonna need to cut off at least this much stem in order to have my flower sit within my greens. So I'm gonna take my flower, I'm gonna measure, chop, place, 
inserting on an X, guys. And when we're inserting our flowers, we're going to insert closer to the lip of the vase. So we're going to insert. Perfect. Got our first peony in place. So we're going to rotate our arrangement because, like I said, we don't want to cluster all of our flowers on the one side. We want them to be beautiful throughout. So we're going to rotate the arrangement. We're going to add another peony. Snip. Insert on that X angle. Perfect. We're going to rotate. Now, this didn't really come with a ton of paintings, which is fine. But let's see, it's at the same height and level? It is. So now we're going to insert on the X angle once again. All right, we've got one more for this last spot right here that we're gonna cut and insert to that area of our bouquet. So for the rest of this video, I will be doing a voiceover because my microphone ended up dying while I was recording this video and I didn't know until just now while I was editing. But no worries, the show must go on. Now it's time to add in our pink wax flower. This is gonna be our filler flower. The goal of the filler flower is to hide any of the holes and gaps that you may see in the arrangement. So rather than working with one big piece, you're actually going to cut up little individual pieces and place those throughout your arrangement. So you can see here that I'm actually breaking up these stems here. And I'm not going to just put this whole chunk in because that's just going to be like too hard to insert into my vase. So we're just going to break that up and make that easier to insert one by one. And I can't stress this enough guys, but it's really important that you rotate your vase so that way you can see all sides of your arrangement. This will really allow you to be able to see like where you need the filler flower. Wherever you see a hole, that's where you should add some filler flower into. What I also really like to do is I like to make sure that I get low and eye level to my arrangement. I do this because this allows me to see any of the holes that I'm missing. Sometimes when you are working above the arrangement, you can't really see like low, you can't really see the fact that like, oh, like you see a piece of tape here. So wherever you see a hole and a gap, that's where you want to add some filler flower into. Now it's time to add in your final peony flower. This flower should be placed in the top center of your arrangement. You want to make sure that your top center flower is the most beautiful flower of them all. So you wanna make sure there are no ugly guard petals, any brown petals, just pull those off. To place your final peony, you're just going to want to use the edge of your table and measure. So if I want my peony to come like right out at the top in between the wax flower and the greens, I know I'm gonna to need to cut off at least that much. Now taking your sharp clippers, you're going to want to give your flower a final cut and this time you can insert this final stem vertically into your arrangement right in the center. And here is our finished peony arrangement. Now over time these peonies will open up to get to about twice the size that they currently are and they look beautiful. If you enjoy videos like this you should like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos daily and you should also join my Florist Academy here on YouTube. It's a monthly membership program where I post weekly floral design tutorials step-by-step -step for beginners. I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye!